to stream. Hi, hi, hello, welcome to stream. everyone how's it going how's it going how it be how it doing we be playing some genshin that's the end of it i don't want to play dead by daylight today <laughs> hi alex uh thank you for the dailies already and alex oh wait what's that getting on <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna assume MK was on because I did. Hang on. So, uh. I assume. <laughs> Hang on. Crab, 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 crab. Oh god, there's two events now? Fuck this. Alright, so, I finished everything at the Summertide event. I got the Kirara. I've gotten Kirara's outfit. I've finished everything in the game. Like, every option possible. Um, Pretty much up count. 7,905. Free to play, by the way. I just haven't wished lately. I don't want Amelia. I don't want her. I'm saving for for two people. One if they make the new character is it Oloron, I think it is. Something like that. Um if he is a pole arm or a sword character, I will pull for him. If he is not, I'm not pulling for him. Cause I don't need another fucking catalyst. Um 
And... Del Torre. He is not... What is... That's the other game. Okay. Del Torre is the only one I'll bark for in this game. The Temptation. Add Astra. Thank you, Catherine. Is it Monday? It's Monday. I want a Pyro Sword. Benoy! Benoy! What about Benoy? Do you not have Bennett? Marcy, please. So, I want another. Okay, mad men are hot. Can you not tell me that Scar isn't hot? I don't know what to tell you. Shut up, Marcy. I'm not giving you my fucking Chinese food. Also, chat, if Willow comes in here, I need you all to harass Willow because Willow ate all of my sesame chicken. We're going to boo them. Everyone boo Willow, specifically because they ate all of my sesame chicken. I want another. Is there not another Pyro Sword character that I know of? Great. Hang on, now I need to check this. I'm pretty sure... Character archive. Filter. Pyro. Sword. Sword. Pyro. Holy shit! There really isn't another Pyro Sword user! We need a Sword Boy! That's so fucking- <laughs> Hang on, wait. Wow. Okay, so I don't have Chiori, Clorin, El Haytham, Nilu, and Ayaka. You had to be there for the Kamisa Kamisato Ayaka, like, hundred and something day long banner. That was a thing, by the way, chat. <laughs> Claymore users. I don't have Navia, Ito, Eula, and Diluc. Yes, I've never gotten Diluc. What a surprise. I recently lost my 50 50 to D Dia. I don't have Shenha, Hu Tao, and Mili and Mika. For polearm, for bows. I think bows are like the most I don't have. Venti, Tartaglia, Ganyu, Yoimiya, and Sijuin, and Yilan, and Lenny. Yilan, sorry. Uh, everyone gets Amber. And just to prove that I've been playing since 2020, <laughs> as you can see, I've Amber joined my party then. As for catalysts, I don't have Nahida and Klee, Yaimiko, and Kokomi. I did get Mona recently this year. Um. Astral Mark. Has, what is an astral mark? Have, what? What? Hang on, this is like a screenshot moment. Interesting. Maybe. I haven't noticed that. Thing is pure freedom in this world. A taste of home. Not go on forever. The wind rises. I'm not sure. That that's I've never heard of that before. Like, so I just posted on Twitter, yo, where are the lore people at? You know, where are my lore junkies? Uh okay. Um... Maybe, maybe it's, maybe it's for someone in Natlan. I don't know, like, Astral Mark sounds like a Celestia thing, though. Okay, I don't have any condensed resin. I haven't used that yet, either. 
It is the start of the week, so I might do some weekly bosses. Don't know who yet. Uh, I think I've done everything but the rice buns. How do I make I rice buns? Quit following me. Do I have Quit rice buns? The stop. question. Let me see. I do. Hey, GG's four. Let's go. Um, so I am not going to do the rest of the dailies, because fuck that. Um, let me look at my characters that I need to do talents for. So, Skara's triple crowned, Farina's double crowned, I don't need to do... Hi, Tola, how are you, hon? Hello there. Hello, how are you? Uh, Chi Chi is good. Albedo, I could work on another time. She's fine. Thank you for the dailies as well. I could, I could, I could work on Kazuha. Shao is double crowned. Risley's double crowned. I could triple crown Risley eventually. Sino's double crowned. Hi, hi, hello. Welcome to stream. Too warm out there? That's fair. He's not crowned at all. Ether is fine. Triple crown, double crown, triple crown. <laughs> Too much effort into some of these characters. Um, who would I need to do is the question. Glad I was a keep up the tattoo today. Yeah, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to go live, but then I was like, I don't really care what I play. I just want to play whatever I'm enjoying, and that's Genshin and Wuthering mm -hmm. Waves. Ooh, question is, who do I want? Who needs it, really? I think... I think... What is... I have so much for Tignari, it's not even funny. Let's see. I'm not really gonna use Kaching. No. I'm not using Dio, because she's, she's basically useless. I don't think there's anybody I need to fight weekly-wise, so I'm probably just gonna do Condenser as in today. And I will just grind Farina's domain. Right, hang on. Oh, and I have Amelia's story quest to do as well, so we're gonna do that after we do at the event. Which reminds me, since I've claimed it, I should get the quest. Got a poor Armos. I'm good. I'll do that later. Yeah, I worked overtime this weekend, so that was fun. Now I'm just here. Um, let's see. There's the two events I want to do first. I haven't done anything in the Finch Ball event. How do I play? I gotta teleport to her. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I totally understand. Like, oh, and I had some, like, announcements I wanted to talk about while I was here playing. So I've been thinking about my content a lot lately. And... I know for a fact I don't think there's a possibility that I ever make it like professional or whatever. So, 
I will be stopping some YouTube content and focusing just on my own mental health and stuff. Um, I've been like really stressed out lately trying to make content for y'all and I love y'all. Y'all are fantastic. I really do not ever blame you guys. It's not your fault, but I just, I just feel like I'm not gonna be enough. And I guess I'm just stressed out about it. So, um... I... I'm not gonna stop streaming, but I'm not gonna try as hard either. <laughs> hi, hi, hello, welcome to Hi, Dianu. Sorry, I was having a really serious discussion as you came in. <laughs> um... Um... No. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, okay. I'll try again. So, yeah. Um... Wow. That was really bad. I'm so bad at this game. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna stop trying as hard. I'm gonna focus on myself, and if I don't stream for like two weeks, okay, I don't stream for two weeks. Like, now, if the opportunity arises where I am able to go full-time, or I have the ability to, to stream more, have more content, or whatever, like, absolutely. I would love to do that, but as of right now... That's not something I can do for my own mental health. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about it. I just wanted you guys to know what's been going on and... After these next few videos, I'm just gonna, you know, do whatever I feel like I want to do. Like, it's okay that my career is a hobby and not a... Like, my streaming isn't, isn't, isn't... It's a hobby, and it's not a career, and it doesn't have to ever be, like, for me, you know what I mean? So, that's, that's just kind of what I was saying, like, I think I've come to a point where I've realized that I don't have to stream every day, I don't have to be live every single weekend, like, I don't have to make content all the time, like, and I'm okay with that. And I'm just gonna... Yeah, like, I feel like so many people don't realize that you don't have to be so stressed. It's okay. Like, life happens and, and, and stuff happens, like, and genuinely just enjoy yourself and stream whatever you feel like it. And if you grow, you grow. If you don't, you don't. End of story. Yeah, and I, I originally would have loved to... And, like, look, like I said, if I ever get the opportunity to make it pro or make it a full-time thing absolutely like absolutely i would do it but as it stands right now that's not gonna happen and i'm okay with that
Yeah, I just kind of wanted to say where I stood on all this, because I've been, you know, worrying how y'all would take it, but then I realized y'all are an amazing community, and why should I worry? Y'all support me no matter what. Thank you, thank you. I forgot what this one does, and I've just been, like, launching him. Oh, he sucks them in. Okay, I don't like that. Okay, I do like that, holy shit! <laughs> Did I get what I needed? God damn it. Alright, I'll try again. I'll try again. I'll be... I'll be... Okay, so I have to get uh, perfect dot everything. Okay. That's not. That's not. <laughs> I need fourteen points. Okay. No! I need 14 points. Stay. Fuck you. We have 14 points! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay, I gotta do this one. I need to knock three of your opponents out. Okay, I thought I did, but let's do it again really fast. Well, that failed miserably. Hi, hi, hello, welcome to stream. Y'all, what is up, care? Did I do it? Thank you for the dailies. Let's go.
Oh, I don't have to do this. Quicken was alright. Thank you for the head pads. It was, uh... Quite busy. Um, I had to work overtime. Yeah, no worries. Bye, Tiano. Thank you for coming by. Meow. Hey, but 30 bucks an hour was great. Alright, I guess we'll go do Amelie's story quest. Because I haven't done that yet, and I've been putting it off, and it's a great time to do it now. I will take $30 an hour any day for overtime. What about you guys? How was your weekend, chat? Oh, look, it's Tignari. I thought I told him to spray it with water to retain moisture before applying the film. You can't treat a glaze lily like a cactus. If Sanjay does this again, the loss will have to come out of his food expenses. Uh, I'll go talk to him. At this rate, he won't even be able to afford eating cacti for much longer. Hey, Tignari! Oh, <laughs> it's you two. It's been a while. What brings you to Port Olmos? We didn't have anything to do, and this place looked pretty lively, so we decided to stop by. But, uh, what's with all the flowers around here? Well, Port Ormos is currently organizing a flower exhibition, featuring flowers and plants from all over Tevat. So I came to help out. The exhibition includes flowers from every corner of the world, each with their own unique properties and needs. With that in mind, the curator commissioned a flower pot from Kasharawar, capable of retaining heat and moisture. Even so, an expert is still required to develop tailored transportation and care plans for each type of flower. Oh, and that expert is you, right? Not this time, no. I'm just here to help out. The expert in charge is someone else. Mr. Tainari! Sanjay! He, uh, he confused the poisonous bowls of garlic shoots, and he ate them! Uh, never mind. Forget about what I said about the food expenses. Apologies, traveler, Paimon. <laughs> got something to take care of. Huh. Bro, eat some poison fucking huh? bulbs or whatever. Yeah, seems like it. Hey, don't look at Paimon like that. Well, looks like Tainari might be. That's so fucking funny. Walk around nearby. Walks five feet in one direction. Wow, look at these flowers! They smell so... So... Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a... Uh, I... She's just got a little... <laughs> cute! Rainbow roses. Glaze lilies. And Cecilia's? No wonder. It's... It's getting worse. Why? Look at you! Oh. Let me your sick! <laughs> but, uh, I, I was... I just... Ah, a moment of your time, you two? If it's not too much trouble, perhaps you could try this incense. Okay, she's really pretty though. I, I still don't want her, but she's really pretty. I also didn't expect that voice for her. Oh, the scent is so nice! Whoa, that was fast! Prima doesn't have to think nothing of it. From your attire, I imagine you two aren't from Sumeru either. Seeing as we're both travelers from abroad, 
It's only right that we help each other out should the occasion arise. Oh, so you're here for the flower exhibition too? Hmm, I suppose that's accurate. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. Her eyes are really I'm pretty. I'm Emily, a perfumer from Fontaine. Designer designer. Thank you so much for your help just now. Oh, and this is... The Traveler, right? I've heard a lot about you from the Steambird. It's nice to finally put a face to the name. Have you ever heard of Haif? To put it simply, I was kind of. Well, we're all different. The factors that can trigger, but there's no need to worry. Pollen allergy. Oh well, that's good. Traveler, Paimon, there you are. Is everything all right? I left in such a hurry, I forgot to warn you about all the pollen in the air. Yeah, <laughs> Paimon was not having a good time. Ah, what a coincidence! Looks like my worry was misplaced then. The Traveler and Paimon are in good hands. It was nothing, really. We happened to run into each other shortly after my arrival, and I offered them a bit of help, that's all. I'm more curious as to why you thought the Traveler and Paimon were in danger. Allergies are highly unpredictable. If you were concerned the pollen might trigger a reaction, that must mean something similar has happened in the past. Remember the first time we met? You fainted after inhaling Spirit Borneal. The Spirit Borneal didn't affect Paimon at all, and now she's the one suffering! It makes no sense! It's not really something you can make sense out of, Paimon. There are all kinds of allergies out there, caused by a variety of different factors. Some people are even allergic to almonds. It's not something you can generalize. Exactly. I even encountered a case in Fontaine where someone had an allergic reaction to soba noodles their family brought back from Inazuma. Whoa. Good thing Paimon isn't allergic to anything delicious. Hmm. In addition to medicine, Emily is also very knowledgeable about botany. She's taught me a lot about the native flora around Fontaine. And that's where my expertise ends, I'm afraid. When it comes to breadth of knowledge, Tainari certainly comes out on top. A flower expert? Oh, Paimon's got it! You must be the expert Tainari mentioned, the one in charge of the exhibition! Uh, wrong again, I'm afraid. Well, I did come for the exhibition, but only to inquire about the Auguste Hi. variety. Would you like... I'm oh, yeah, she won't... Capacity. Chat, Marcy's here. Say hi to Marcy. I was sure she got Everyone say hi to Marcy. Bitch, you scratched me. That hurt. It's a kind of flower that was once popular in Fontaine. The perfume made from it also bears the same name, a goose. A goose, huh? That's not a name you hear often nowadays. In an ancient language, the word is said to mean sacred or noble. It's sometimes Ooh, used as me. a name for people as well. Ah, that reminds me. Are you familiar with a historical event in Fontaine known as Perfume Mania? Perfume Mania was an event that occurred in Fontaine nearly 20 years ago. It all started when several merchants released their own lines of high-end, expensive perfumes, marketing them as must-have luxury products, the very symbol nom, of nom, elegance nom. itself. No one anticipated the absolute frenzy this would create on the market, causing the price of perfumes to skyrocket. I would just like to point out, that if you're gonna do artwork like this, can you not like have the same four NPCs? 
there's the same girl twice, like, with her hairstyle, and it's so funny. <laughs> the guys all look the same, too. <laughs> the demand was twofold. What some saw as the static, the value of these products, but at the end of the day, perfume is just perfume. Luckily, the Palais Mermonia recognized the danger, and in the end, only a few wealthy families were affected when the bubble popped. What does all this have to do with that? Well, during the craze, the most popular perfume... Ten million?! After the mania ended, most perfumes returned to a normal price. Its namesake, the flower you... Indeed, the Auguste flower with... When the bubble popped, all the flower beds used for its cultivation were destroyed in a fire. The variety has never been seen since. But didn't you say you came to the exhibition to look for it? <coughs> I came to investigate a certain rumor that the Auguste flower has reappeared in Sumeru. It's causing quite the stir in the Fontaine perfume market. Traveler, we should help Emily look for it. I have to agree. Emily wrote me to even if I can locate the flower, I'm a <laughs> divine, noble, one of a kind. All beautiful sentiments to be sure, but to me, they overshadow the very essence of the product. When it comes to perfume, I want people to forget the price. Wow! Of course, there's also a more practical reason. In recent, every so often, someone will claim to have recreated the unique scent of a goose, and the rumor mill will stop. Okay, that's more like. Ever since that rumor started, if I can dispel the fanaticism surrounding a goose, even just by proving the rumor to be false, then I'll be free from all the stuff. That makes sense. Oh, I would, of course, be grateful. Well, you said it yourself. Based on the information I have so far, it's on Mr. Edgar also thinks it's too early to say. Huh, I was just about to pay him a visit at Edgar? <laughs> the person you've been trying to guess this whole time, back when he was still working in fun. I should also mention, he was my teacher. The one who taught me the basics of perfumery when I apprenticed oh. in school. So, this guy was a famous perfumer in Fontaine, but then he came to Samaro to teach people from Fontaine? It sounds confusing. It's a loss. Oh. No, I want a game. Thank you. I wanted to teleport. Oh, look at all the flowers. Apparently. The exhibitor paid a large sum to rent out the hotel and... Yeah, what if guests come early? They won't have anywhere to stay. Also, renting out this big of a hotel, how are they going to make that more of that? It's been so long. Well, you and your brother. Oh, yeah. Look, all this catching up is nice. Oh, hold on. We have... It's nice to see you again, Master. Emily? Yes, I've heard you've become quite the famous perfumer in Fontaine. It would seem the student has surpassed the master. Oh, well, it's all thanks to your mentorship. Ah, hardly, hardly. I taught you the basics. Hearing you call me master, well, I'm not sure I'm deserving of that title. I've taught many students here in Sumeru over the years, but I've yet to see one turn wow. out quite as accomplished as you. You're the only one who can take credit for that success. And who are these two? I don't recall you mentioning them in your letter. Ah, nah, we're just some random people and Pymont. that, like, she met and immediately trusted, despite the fact that we're war criminals from several Emily's countries. Friend. <laughs> well then, the pleasure is all mine. And these two gentlemen? Are they friends of yours, Master? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm Ood, and this here is my younger brother, Blade. Edgar and the... No. Yes. Merchant? You must be here to look for the... Huh? <laughs> well, what respect am I'm guessing you're here for the same reason. And I commissioned a few Eremites to do some... St that being said, there are... Pe some of them were merchants who lived in Fontaine 20 years ago. A one of a kind. Hmm. Maybe... No, I don't think so. I doubt that's the case. Even if someone... A goose is even more prone to that kind of shit. Only a few bottles still exist in Fontaine, and their scent would have completely degraded by now. Although, 
Could there be a flower out there with the same fragrance? Or in accord with the same face marks? Impossible! If a goose were that easy to replicate, it would never... Technically speaking, the scent wouldn't be... Well, let's table that question for now. But no. By the time they realized they had smelled something, the scent was compared to things we see. Hmm. It almost sounds like someone wearing their goose fragrance past them on the streets. Wait, are you saying... I'm <laughs> just thinking out loud. We don't have much to go off of right now, but we c You all traveled so far to be... You've got the key to the room? Ah, my apologies. Oh, I managed to tidy up one of the rooms for these two at the last minute. But... but oh, and we just showed... Uh, I should have been more considerate. Here I am. Don't worry, Master. I can sleep on the boat tonight. Or I could even camp in the wild. It would give me the... Ah, uh, although, would it be possible for me to leave some of my luggage here? Well... <laughs> of course, no. All right, then. Uh, I'll prepare some. Interesting. So there's Sauce's flock. They probably, pro they probably have it. Ah. What? Oh, we're just in his room. <laughs> Lamau, wait. <laughs> I went into his room, but not the hotel. <laughs> My bad, man. took a peek through the window earlier and his house was packed with flowers. No, that's a florist thing. We work closely with the essential oils of various plants, but to maintain a... Sh oh! Guess there's just too much to store for the exhibition then. Oh, this room seems to be a connected suite. And my blaze, while you're out, why don't you bring our luggage over? Ahem! <laughs> oh, uh, ah, yes, of course. All right then, uh, where can we find your luggage? It's still at the port. In addition to some daily necessities, there's also a case of amber wine that I brought back from Fontaine. Could I trouble you to bring that back as well? It would be the perfect... <laughs> How generous. I should thank... Is that so? Mr. Ood, Mr. Blaze. Hey! What, what are you doing? <laughs> That's Master's voice. Oh! Huh? He just got kidnapped, bro! Hi, Sapphire. Thank you for the dailies. Edgar! Master! Hey, Edgar! <laughs> Kyria! Hi, hi, hello. Welcome to stream. Hey, Edgar? Ed no, don't shake him. He's injured. Just leave him to me. You two can... Oh, thank you. Hi, Zed! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the lurkies. Oh, pardon me. That strange smell around here. Is it coming from this bottle? Oh, really? You... Huh. Too slow. Do you think whoever... Impossible. Oh, uh, the culprit, I mean. <laughs> it's not like the culprit. Well, we looked all... The most important thing we can do now is focus... Um... <laughs> How's he doing? 
When I administered emergency treatment, I discovered a residue in his nose and mouth. Master was most likely forced to ingest a certain liquid. He's still unconscious, and inducing vomiting could obstruct his airways. We'll have to look into other clues for now. Ah, yes. The scent is the same, but the chemical composition is... But first, I do believe there are two people who could shed some light on the situation. Mr. Sylvain, Mr. Lucian. W wait, you... Hey! <clears throat> Were you talking to us, mademoiselle? Hmm. Before arriving in Sumeru, I asked a friend from the Special Patrol to look into the creators of a goose. There were four people in total. The perfumer, Edgar, the one thrust into the limelight, and three others. A researcher from Sumeru responsible for cultivating the agoust flower. And the two brothers capitalized on the mythos. In the end, they were sent to the Fortress of Merap- huh. And what does that have to do with us? Every time your brother called you Blaze, it took you several seconds to respond. But when I called you Lucian just now, the name registered immediately. I... <laughs> Ah, oh, Miss Emily, out of respect for your position as a few have a bright pu- hmm. You claim to be regular perf- <laughs> What? Amber wine is a perfume I created several years ago. It wasn't particularly renowned, but I'm certain any respectable perfumer- Unless, until recently, the- Emily, you little- <laughs> <laughs> Get sword, bitch! Don't misunderstand, Mr. Sylvain. I don't bring this up to- But Master's life is in danger. If Master's attack had something to do- So I'd like to trouble you for some information. Fine. Sylvain! Lucian, if this will help us find Kyria, then it will be all worth it. You were right, Miss Emily. There were four of us at the beginning. I some time down the road, the Mara Chaussee Phantom came knocking. Saddled us with a list of accusations and started looking. Sounds like you're still upset about that. Wait, then how did Edgar end up in Sumeru? Master was convicted as an accomplice, so he only had to serve a few years. He decided to move to Sumeru so that he could put those events behind him. Still, Master was depressed for a long time after. That's how I met him. My parents. But we can talk about that some other time. I want to hear more about this researcher, Vijav. Like us, Vijava was all but before the phantom showed up at her door. She set all the flower beds on fire. Along but destroying all that happened. It didn't matter at that point, because she died in the fire as well. What? <sighs> Sounds like you did an investigation of your own. Why the name wasn't mentioned in any of the files I would Oh? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Kyria was Bijava. He was just a clueless kid back then. So Bijava kept him close most of after our operation was compromised. So you think Kyria took something with him back then? <sighs> Bijava doted on the kid like you wouldn't believe. She even told us to give her cut to her if she left something behind before she... And judging by the liquid in that bottle... The Auguste flower wasn't the only thing he reproduced. He managed to replicate... So the liquid Edgar was forced to ingest really was Auguste. <clears throat> poison? No, no. Of course, if Auguste could be considered a poison, we wouldn't have even sold half a bottle. He probably thought we we're not looking for Curia because we have it. We only went to prison for a bit of as long as we keep things honest this time around. So that's why you never mentioned Curia during. Yes, exactly. Anyway, that's all. Well, at least we're able to say for certain that the substance Edgar and just. <sighs> well, glad to hear it, Lucian. Let's head back to the room and rest. Yes. So they're lying. Hmm. Oh, you think so, too. Hmm. But based on Sylvain's tone of voice just now, I suspect further questioning... The way you exposed them like that? Just all right! Earlier you said you were only... Oh, yes. That's because most of the patients I encounter... So you're a... Forens... Close. I'm actually a forensic cleaner. Once the forensic team and the Marsh... In fact... With just a small alteration to the formula... Basically, there are two sides to forensics. The, I've learned I didn't know she was a forensic cleaner. Holy shit. Death. 
but this time, you may still save the patient. Actually, Traveler, could I trouble you to- I'll stay here and continue to look- I don't- I don't- what? Don't be there! Why the rush? Did something? What? Edward? He's the most famous perfumer in the region. Someone who's helped countless- Sheriff, have you received any reports of a suspicious individual? No, but I'll start gathering my forces. What about you, Tainari? Do you hmm. I'm sure the Sheriff can- Uh, but- Then she was far too modest. She may not be a doc, not to mention the fact that Mr. Edgar's condition- As for me, I'll have- Oh, that's right! From Emily's letter, certainly, but that was the first time I'd heard of it. The Academia pro- I didn't have time to look into it earlier, but now I have friends in Sumeru City that can help- I'll leave you and Emily to watch it. Cool, cool, cool. Done. Right, so I'm still working on leveling all of the characters. Since we need to wait, I think I will go ahead and spend some of my condensed resin on the domain for Farina's artifacts. I have been grinding to get her a better sans and a better, uh, goblet. What, what does she need? Hang on. <clears throat> a better sans. Yeah, better goblet. Her crown is fine. Her flower is fine. Her feather is fine. But her sands and her goblet are shit. Yeah, I legit only have one. <laughs> yeah, um... It's not even worth enhancing. Quit following me. Uh, that's a good team. Okay, 50k damage is not bad. Okay, I definitely could hit better. Emergency. Mind the sight. Late bear. Dead. <laughs> Let's see what I get. <clears throat> Energy recharge. That's crappy. That's all of that's bad. Okay, three more. Ah. <sighs> I never have any luck with artifacts. It's annoying. Illusion shattered. Let the mighty be humbled. Balls. Bow your head. Taking a turn for the better. 
mind the sight of it. Inazuma shines eternal. Witness my prize. Overruled. Needs work. Both of those suck. As this is this. Nope. More artifact fodder. Ah, Burita, please. I just need a good HP sands. And please, I there beg no of you, Genshin, have pity Settle on down. me. The ties beckon. Remember. Health comes first. Now you shall perish. Shine down. Laid bare. This is where you fall. Overruled. Go on. Anything at all. That is shit. That is shit. That is shit. 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 All right. One more run. A bitter pill to swallow. Bow your head. <clears throat> there is no escape. <clears throat> Inazuma shines eternal. Seems like an emergency. The doctors. Be sanctified. Settle down. Hmm. Everlasting as the moon. Some stats were better. Ugh. All right, I can do it one more time, so I'll do it for the twenty resin. Now you shall perish. Shine down. A bitter pill to swallow. Ugh. Taking a turn for the better. The tides beckon. Oh, it's better than what she has now. What happened? I wasn't finished looking. Thank you. Let me go here and heal up. I'll do my teapot stuff in a min. Oh. This realm is...
Thank you. Oh wait, hey God, because we're here. This realm is There is a weekly for making 10 furnishings, despite the fact that I never make anything I can actually use. Haha. -ha. Why would I? I've already fully, like, decked out my teapot for what I need it to, and it's, it's fully there, so there's no reason for me to continue adding stuff. I think I do want to add, like, and make the, uh... Like, friendship kits eventually. Like, the friendship sets I give you primos, but... Alright, let's go to Port Novos. But things weren't looking good with Emily's master yesterday. We should check on things at the hotel first. Emily! No longer in critical condition. Thankful. My chemical analysis of a goose also went smooth. Mm hmm. I was able to identify the components <laughs> that give the substance elemental energy. Hmm, hard to say. It was such a minute amount proportion. I had to use one of the newest tests developed in recent years to even detect. Unless you were abnormally sensitive to elemental energy, I doubt it would. As for whether Master's condition was caused by the element. Oh, that reminds Simon. Did Ty hmm. I received a message from him last night. Oh, Grant thought he might have. Um, excuse me. Is Miss Emily here? Kalei! Oh, perfect! Familiar face? Kalei? Oh, of course. Tainari's influence. No need for her. Oh, uh, uh did Tainari send you here? Yep. Master and the others went through decades worth of records last night, and still haven't had a chance to rest. I'm fast on my feet, so it only made sense for me to come and give you an update. Anyway, based on what they've reviewed so far, they believe there's no indication that a researcher by the name of Vichava ever passed through the Academia. Master considered that possibility as well. But the name wasn't the only dead end. How is that possible? It's starting to seem very likely. If we want to figure out her... Hey! Hey! It's you, Finn! It's Sylvain! Wait, you don't think Kirio came back, do you? That seems impossible. If someone came in or out of the hotel... I'm so confused. It's locked. <laughs> There's no one here. Lucian! Lucian! Come on! Uh, <gasps> Emily! Emily! My brother! I'm sorry, Mr. Sylvain. No! What?! Too late this time. He fucking died?! No, that's not... That's not possible! Traveler, Kale, Mr. Sylvain has gone through a huge shock. He needs some space to calm down. Could one of you take him next door? It's not good for him. Uh, of course. Leave it to- Thank you both. Mr. Sylvain? We'll take things from here. Just focus on getting some rest. Here, 
this way. <laughs> Bro, his brother is dead. Holy shit. Poor guy. He may have made some bad decisions. Good person or bad. The death of a loved one is all the moments he shared with his brother. If Kiria really was behind... Lucian can no longer speak. Traveler, I've got things covered here this... Who would have thought? Yesterday's... Miss Emily, I heard you're an experienced... Oh, I'm not actually a forensic doctor. I just happen to have some relevant knowledge. I did take a look, though. Judging by the temperature and rigidity of the box... Then, would you mind helping us investigate? Of course. I appreciate your trust. Me We're all cute. We don't know much about dead bodies. We don't know much about dead bodies. Murdered, like, m lots of people. Are shut tight. Pupils are dilated. So, did you find anything? Paimon can show you. Here, it'd be something like this. But, entering through the room next door without- No, his reaction to the lock- Then, what could have happened last night? I agree. Also, I've made some new discoveries. Mr. Sylvain, I need you to tell me every- uh, After Kyria attacked Edgar, we returned to our rooms and decided to lock all the doors leading to the hallway. The only door we kept unlocked was the one- But I didn't hear any sort of commotion last night. Not a single noise! I woke up this morning, opened the door, and... Lucian... So... No movement from the room next door. No signs of a struggle at the scene. And no I did notice a few things about the body. Lucian's pupils were dilated and his skin was flushed. There weren't any traces of liquid in his mouth or nose, so it's unlikely he was forced to ingest anything. A goose? No, no, that's not possible. In inhaling, a goose won't kill you. No. Uh, Emily, you ran your test. No, I didn't find... Huh. See, that may be true for most people. Oh? Master! Edgar? <coughs> Sylvain, no matter how hot... Edgar! Even if we could keep it a secret... No, he would... <sighs> Uh-oh. Floor drop. That's Vijava's real name. Yelena... It wasn't a scholar from Sumeru. Oh, shit! She was an exiled Fatus from Snezhnaya. The Fatus? The Fatui. Well, that means the elemental energy present in a goose was... Ah, so you've already detected it. <sighs> well, Sylvain, looks like there's truly no reason to hide things now. No. Oh. The August flower was created with the mutative and distorting power of a delusion. Uh, the Fatui, delusions. I never would have thought a ghost was hiding this many. Oh, shit! Born of a delusion, August contained distorted elemental energy. A prolonged exposure over many years could have a harmful effect on the body. <laughs> 
Well, that's enough, Edgar. At first, Yelena wanted to keep refining the perfume and the flower. It didn't have any effect on ordinary people anyway. So you decided to poison? Oh, listen, it's not like it was good for business. But all that... Oh, unless you were particularly sensitive to elemental energy or had an entire bottle shoved down your throat like Edgar. It may be true there are no records of a goose poisoning in Fontaine, but even if no one was acutely poisoned, willfully bringing a product to market... <coughs> that explains why you were so intent on keeping Yelena and Curia's involvement a secret all this time, despite readily confessing to all your financial crimes. A fatui, delusions, a goose... If the Mara should say phantom, this... Ha! Ah, if I'd known coming to Sumer... <sighs> years without any sign of Kyria, and if a goose was harmless before. So there's bad blood between you. What about Yelena's death? I'll admit, we thought about it at one point. We took care to disguise the product circulate, but if the Mara Chaussee Phantom decided to look into the flop, we've only even put our plan in motion, Yelena. But... But if her goal was to just Yeah, she could have just... I thought about it for a long time. Everything she did. <sighs> One of the reasons they defected from the Fatui was the deterioration of Yelena's body due to her excessive use of a delusion. She didn't want her brother to follow in her footsteps after her death. After arriving in Fontaine, Yelena continued using the delusion to cultivate the Auguste flower weakening her body even further. That's so depressing. There were times when she couldn't. So, she couldn't flee with her- If her true identity was exposed, the Auguste flower and Yelena's own corroded body both bore the mark of a delusion. So, in the end, she burnt- So the wealth you earned from Auguste? Most likely. Before Yelena died, she said, if that's why Lucien and I were searching for Kyria. To take back Armora and the... But why is Kyria out? I don't think he knew his sister was nearing death. Yelena always wore heavy makeup around him. Then all you need to do is tell Kyria will be... I'm not so sure. Even if he knew the truth, he'd still find someone to blame. It's hard to pull yourself out of that kind of hatred. Very true. <laughs> Edgar! Think about it, Sylvain. If we hadn't been in such a... If we hadn't been so blinded. If we hadn't invited the Mara Chaussee... <laughs> she knew her limits. Hi, she Dama. Her Thank you for the dailies. Maybe it was for her brother, but she was in it for the Mora just as much as us. We were just trying to earn a bit of Mora. Hi, hi, hello. And Welcome what we to deserve to die How you doing, for Dama? That? Target me for being the mastermind. Sure. To the Lucian, he was just following my orders. Lucian's crime was it really so extreme that he had to pay for it with his life? <sighs> the only person that can answer that question is a judge. <laughs> I've said my piece anyway. Drag me back to Fontaine to stand trial. And I've been in a red of World of Warcraft. I've been to some, some shows. What shows? <sighs> Three people from Fontaine. Well, we can only wait until the Academia sends someone to deal with it. <sighs> with the exhibition, we don't even have space in Port Ormuth. Hmm. The, the hotel could suffice. Although with Sylvain's mental... St Mr. Edgar, are you saying... If Sylvain is to stand trial... Then I deserve the same. You watched American Gods in the la in, crime, and in the last season of Preacher. I'd Ooh. just like to take care of a few things before. As for Sylvain, I'm sure. <sighs> Would you be willing to grant? Well, all right. The man we grew to know in Sumeru proved. You have my thanks, Sheriff. Happened tonight? Oh, yeah. All we know is that he uses a goose to poison people. But we still have no idea if he trusted Sylvain. That may be true, but what if we, if we take advantage of the... Master, no, that's... Uh, 
If Kyria learns we're being taken... In other words, you capture... Uh, not afraid? <laughs> I'm spending the rest of my life at... As for the... I'll admit, it could work. Then I'll station some of my men around the hotel. I still have some reservations. But if you insist... I'll also keep watching. Although, I think, Sophie, if Kyria noticed another person in the room, he... Uh, you mean if he doesn't see a way to get his hands on the... If that were to happen, everyone stand... That's why everyone else needs to keep to the shadows. <laughs> That's such a delayed I'm reaction. Still recovering. We need to rest. Bro started coughing and then his so body does it like 10 seconds. Alright. We can figure out a plan to keep. Mr. Edgar's been detained. He's being taken away tomorrow. What? He's the one who helped craft all the fragrances for our shop. He taught my child how to make perfume. How could this happen? He hasn't been convicted yet. Let's just wait until- Oh, everyone on the street is talking about the rumors. Let's head back to the hotel and take a break. We can- I forgot that that you can't run infinitely without out of combat now, which sucks. Emily, Sheriff Xian wants. Thank you, colleague. But first, here, I prepared a kind of herbal tea that helps calm the spirit. Why don't you have some? Oh, that's very. Oh, it's not good to be so tense, especially when we've got. Uh, was you seem very preoccupied with Kiri's revenge? Oh, uh. No, not at all. This will be easier to talk through with you here. I've just been thinking. If Kyria has the capacity to commit murder while remaining completely undetected, why didn't we target Sylvain along with Lucian last night? There was just a single door separating them. If when I accompanied Sylvain to his room after Lucian, maybe Kyria did that on purpose. Maybe he wanted Sylvain to experience the pain of losing a loved one before he completed his ultimate revenge. So did he attack Edgar at the... Based on what we've heard about Kyria... Losing his sister all those years ago. Whenever I get to thinking like that... I just... I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't think like that. Not after... There's nothing wrong with the way you're feeling. Empathy is a part of human nature. In all my years of cleaning up crime scenes, I've witnessed some of them even try to stop me begging me not to erase the last remnants of their loved ones. Surround yourself with fragrance for too long, and your sense of smell will become dull. Allow yourself to be- So while you hold on to that sense of empathy, do Sylvain and Lucian really deserve to die? How much did they truly know about the Fatui and the delusion? Answering those questions requires a lot of time. I've witnessed a lot of deaths in Fontaine. When someone dies, but, but generally speaking, death once you're consumed by hatred, it will be- Why is this such a depressing fucking conversation, Hoyo? The fact that we can approach- But that also makes us perfectly positioned to stand on the outside and try to pull them back from the brink before it's too late. I understand Kyria's decision, but I still want to stop- Oh. Emily, Traveler. Uh huh? Edgar. Oh, it's you two! Um, can you head back to your room to rest, Edgar? 
It's really okay. <laughs> Besides, I don't have much time left in Sumeru. We could do that for you, Master. No need. I, I would imagine Sheriff Shah. Uh, the Night Watch. You That's right. I've stationed some of my men around the surrounding area, but we still don't have exactly. After some discussion, we concluded that Sylvain has the highest, and Emily's expertise is sure to come. Sounds perfectly reasonable. Yes, Marcy, can I help you, darling? Huh. Not a peep. Has Kyria given up on his revenge? Hmm. Guess what? <sighs> Still nothing unusual. Paimon took a peek into the room next door, and Sylvain's already sleeping. Perhaps Kyria's true motive was simply forcing Sylvain to come. No, that can't be right. There must be something we're missing. Maybe we just need to calm down a little. Uh, you're right. Um, maybe we can look for a different distraction then. Why? Like... Oh, there's a glaze lily here. Paimon didn't notice it earlier. Flower is here. Cool. <gasps> oh no, Sylvain's room. Quick. Wait, what? Oh. Hey, did you hear? It was the older of the merchant brothers. Yeah, I think his name was uh, Sylvain. First it was Mr. Edgar, then that merchant named... Listen up, everyone. This is an act of crime. It's been three days and they haven't even caught a glitch. Do you think it could be the work of an... I, I mean, how do you get away... Keep it moving, everyone. No... You don't know that. Kyria already attacked you once. You were the only reason. Even if I wasn't there, Tainari was... Is that so? I have exception. But Kyria has nothing. It really makes you... If you really want an answer, I suppose you'll have to ask Kyria himself. Once we finally catch him. Ah, well, Emily. There's something else I... What? So many flowers were transported here for the sh weather Kyria gets to me. I know it's a of course. Really? Now I Sheriff Sham still has some uh, go ahead. Best not to keep him waiting. I'm sorry, Master. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, another all nighter. Emily still isn't back. Yeah, that's true. Traveler, I had my men start spreading the information you requested. After listening to Emily's plan, I started getting. To be honest, I'm still not sure how the crime. The speed clue was right in front of a paint. <laughs> Let's go. We'll show you where the cop. Wasn't this incense originally a... <laughs> the glaze lily, huh? I think I've heard of it before. The f well, did you know, it only blooms at night. Exactly as expected. A flower that only... Exactly. Although, the new Pala Lotus wouldn't be a good substitute in the... That's why Kyria chose the Glaze Lily as his mechanism. If applied to the outside, there's a sticky substance. If 
you stick the petals. That's right. He applied a diluted form of slime condensate to the petals what the to stick fuck? them together and enclosed a sample of a goose in the center. That way, the goose would remain trapped inside during the daytime, unable to seep between the petals and evaporate into the air. This all, however, the diluted slime condensate wouldn't be viscous enough to prevent the petals of the glaze lily from opening at night. So by nightfall, the flower would bloom, thereby forcing... Inferior could execute his revenge without... By the next morning, the sample of a goose would have nearly fully evaporated. Wait a second. You're telling me this... And how did Edgar even survive in Jessica? That's because a goose is just as dangerous now as it was all those... Ah, you mean people who are... Se that can't be right. I wouldn't use the word allergic, necessarily. You can think of it this way. It's not that Sylvain and Lucien are innate. And Fontaine. Hmm. The incense I smelled earlier. In Sumeru. All chemically produced essential oils, the primordial seawater that caused unrest in Fontaine. Not. Oh. Oh, when we... oh yes. In Sumeru, it's not uncommon to use incense indoors. So it's prep Flowers are pretty important to this plan, huh? The glaze lilies. Actually, it's not a coincidence at all. No wonder he was willing to be probably used the more and Yelena left right in the end. There's a saying among forensic, but up until this point, we haven't been able to detect, but because he's been disguised as creating such an intricate mechanism out of a glaze lily, it all points to. Kyria and Edgar. Hmm. But Kyria was only in his teens back. Edgar's lived here for so many. Bad news, Sheriff. Mr. Edgar was attacked. What? A dark shadow-like figure just ran out of his room. But before we could even react, the figure up and disappeared like some. Do you think Kyria kidnapped? I need you to think very carefully about this. Uh, I mean, Mr. Edgar. It would seem Master decided to tap into an ill. What? But that's so dangerous. But why? No, if his aim was to target everyone... If he left Sylvain alive yesterday, not out of a desire to see him suffer, but to con... Then, there's still... Huh? I'm so confused. The figure ran in the direction of the elephant, and my partner immediately chased after them. We should hurry before they're forced to confront each other. It's all right. Please calm down and take a deep breath. I... How could? Oh, this is terrifying. Oh, look, it's a box I haven't collected yet. It's all right. I can detect a faint with the set. Hmm. It's this way. Please follow me. Okay. The scent is getting stronger. The 
I'm gonna have to Are fight. Sure I'm gonna have to, to have an actual team. Attacked? Uh, no. Let me take a look. The air definitely feels heavy. It smells nice, but for some reason, it's hot. This feeling, everything looks all right. It was probably just the stress. I can't rest. Mr. Edgar, he's a good man. Oz, you need to calm down and listen to me. But how is that Mr. Edgar is 70 something? That's precisely why he had to resort to Excuria used a delusion to bring back the used flower, corroding his... No. He couldn't have. And what if the impersonation started... I... I've yet to confirm it, but I suspect Curia killed the real Edgar and Fontaine not while Edgar was incarcerated. Curia started making preparations to replace the new Edgar, then decided to relocate to Sumeru. Seemingly out of an innocuous desire to let go of the and Sumeru fit the bill to a T, with no one around to question his identity. All he had to do was grow a beard, don a pair of glasses, make a few minor alterations to his appearance as the years went by. He removed his disguise little by little and continued to refine his skills. That explains why Sylvain said he barely rested. He aged himself decades beyond his years. Just I, I need to find Mr. Edgar. He's not that kind what of person. The what fuck? you really need is to get out. No, I... Wait! This environment is likely being influenced by the delusion. Any discomfort. I know how to relieve your symptoms, Miss... Are you sure, Kyria? <laughs> no, Holler's right. The Traveler and I will take things from here. From... This leads me to believe those blessed with the vision... Or can... Actually, now that I think about it... This stronghold... I hate to trouble you. I... <laughs> Hear that? We're heading out. Traveler, I'm up for someone who's only perp. Don't worry. This is. We're not going to let a goose kill anyone else. Ah, uh, so we have an Amelie. They were attracted here by the increased level of elemental energy. Right loud. <sighs> Seems like an emergency. Overrule. <laughs> I've never seen these seeds before. They must also have been created with the power of a delusion. Hmm. It seems to be avoiding us, and there's no other way forward. Perhaps we could try luring it to the edge of the cliff. Okay. Oh, we get dendro sigils from this. That's cool. It's really pretty in here, though. Whoa, look at all the goose flowers! There are so many of them. I meant to believe- I fear that statement is truer than you know, Paimon. You- But why would Billy need it of- Perhaps hatred wasn't- the Not long ago, he told me he didn't want all the- But Kyria betrayed Snezhnaya. Abandoned Fontaine and lived his entire for someone with nowhere to call home. Perhaps die. I feel bad for the guy. I mean, lost his sister, was betrayed, blah, blah, blah. Like, life kind of sucks for him. Shine down in a 
Shuma shines eternal. A bitter pill to swallow. Ugh, this is nothing. Neutralize. This will brighten up the place. Wow, what a great camera angle. A plant that destroys seeds. Huh, quite the ecological marvel. Let's head back to the place where the seeds first appeared. God, this is annoying. The scent of flowers is getting stronger. We're almost at the end. Thank God. <laughs> Did they catch up? <clears throat> no. My strength is just waning. But it doesn't matter. This is far enough. Huh? Uh. This is a garden of august flowers. But it's not mine. It's the one that was set on fire all those years ago in Fontaine. Y Elena? Yelena! You tried to hide it from me, but I... I owe the reason why you continued to use the delusion. The reason why you set your garden on fire. I shouldn't have listened to you that day. I shouldn't have taken the mora and ran. But by the time I realized something wasn't right, there was nothing left. I know I'm almost 20 years too late. I should have come looking for you earlier. This is I so depressing. I should have died with you that day. Yelena? Uh. Yelena! There we go. There we go. That was an illusion, likely brought about by the residual toxin in your body coupled with the pollen in the air, neither of which are fatal. No. The amount of August I drank, a 
mistake. We started making the preparations last night with one goal in mind. To create a perfect accord. The accord is the, the basis, basis of, of perfume, perfume making. making. The, the product, product in its, its most primitive form. Ambergris mixed with cedar wood, rounded out with a base note of agar wood. This is... the scent of leather? Exactly. We're unable to extract essential oils from leather, but by combining other raw materials, we can recreate its essence. That is the purpose of an accord. Does that mean you can recreate any scent in the whole world? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Certain fragrances in this world are simply one of a kind. Hmm. That quality is what draws people in and fuels their obsessions. If I wear a goose to the ball, I'll also be one of a kind. Our competitor already got their hands on it. We'll be one of a kind. It doesn't matter how much it costs. I have to buy something better, eh? This fragrance will be one of a kind, no more. Myths can be deconstructed, miracles can be recreated. All it takes is skill, experience, limitless exploration, and a little patience. The only thing left is determining where the real Auguste is hidden. Pretending to be attacked means he's not free to move around. A goose must be hidden within reach. Prudman took a peek through the window earlier and his house was packed with flowers. The curator commissioned a flower pot from Kasharawar, capable of retaining heat and moisture. Perfumes are as beautiful as flowers and equally as delicate. When stored, you must take care to control the temperature and keep them away from direct sunlight. Did you get all that, Emily? Mm -hmm. I got it. Hmm. <coughs> oh, she tricked his ass. <laughs> of August and then lied to me about Sylvain's death. Convincing you that your revenge had been completed was the easiest way to get you to let down your guard. Impossible. Even if you found a way to if August. It was a combination of rainbow roses, glaze lilies, and Cecilia's. Those ingredients would have conflicted with each other if you tried to combine them in the past. But recently, we found a way for them to work together. Rainbow roses. A goose was created over ten years ago. All this time, people never stopped analyzing it, never stopped trying to recreate it. Perfumery techniques are advancing day by day. We found better ways to extract essential oils, separate oils and fats. We even discovered new ways to combine fragrances together. The mythos surrounding a goose may have been untouchable almost twenty years ago. But now, it's time for it to become a thing of the past. The past? You've been working as a perfumer for all these years. You should have always known that it is possible to make an accord, even if only in theory. But the meaning you assigned to a goose became so inflated, you allowed yourself to get lost in it. Just like the perfume mania that captivated the public all those years ago. You believed in its divinity and grandeur. You believed it was entirely one of a kind. Your obsession with the goose is also what allowed us to predict how you intended your plan to end and to make preparations in advance. We just didn't expect it to happen so fast. <laughs> well, you, so, since you've been preparing your call, that means the news of Sylvain's death. Yes. If we hadn't, you might have resorted to the delusion out of desperation or... Who knows? I know if you had things your way, you would carry the truth of Edgar's demise and the secrets of this garden to the grave, but I'm sorry, Master. 
I don't want to see any more death. So all the crimes he concealed back then will be... Is that so? Whoa, he accepted that kind of fast. I don't feel the need to justify. I did what I set out to do. <laughs> Careful, everyone. Stick close. Looks like I'm... Oh. Of course, Master. The combination. The scent of a goose is complex and varied. So, as I was analyzing the sample yesterday... You're saying... Yelena designed August to have the scent of multiple flowers. Rainbow roses, glaze lilies, Cecilia's. The perfumers of the past knew. But if you cultivate a new flower species that intrinsically carries the unique feature. Rainbow roses, Yelena. That's so depressing. <laughs> I feel bad for him in a way, but like also that like, kind of is his fault. <laughs> Oh, she called it Yelena. That's so Seems sweet. like everyone in Fontaine is talking about the new perfume you're releasing. I was hoping to release it without such a... I just hope it won't become the source of some new... I did, although I made a few modifications to the formula to make the scent more... Also, I was hoping you could try out the free... Of course! A good scent... It's all right. Besides, when it comes to perfume... Right! Do those flowers have some spec... Hmm... I have to guess... I'd say it probably has something to do with the language of flowers. The language of flowers? Oh, we heard it... What each flower is said to represent varies by person and across different moments in history. The same is true for the flowers that make up the scent of a goose. After returning to Fontaine, I did some research. And... <clears throat> Forget the past and keep on living. Perhaps that's the legacy Yelena always intended. Not the nobility. You think Kyria knew about I paid him a visit before his trial and explained what I thought. Who knows? Maybe she didn't mean anything by it at all. That Yelena is gone. We'll never know what she was thinking. We can look for meaning all we want, but it'll never be anything but conjecture. Even if that is what she was trying to say, avenging her death? Kyria cultivated his revenge like a... In any case, he did... Thank you for saving my life. For giving me the chance to... Love and hatred are a privilege of the living. When someone dies, they're... Fu but even if it's only a conjecture, the meaning we give to flowers, and yet at the very outset, they're born from the simplest... Sweet. I don't like the little thing with the flowers, but it was a really interesting... Oh, what? Wait, we can make ourselves have perfume. <laughs> That's so funny. All right, that leaves everything for Genshin. There is the new event that I could check out super fast, though. So I just go in? There's no quest for it? Okay, that's new. Normally there's like a quest. 
Okay, round one. Round one is uh, Hydro, so I'll have my animal unit. Round two is that, so I'll probably have Arlequin already set up. Alright, so round one, I'm going to do... do, 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 do with Scarabosh. Scarabosh, Kazuha, Faruzan, and Bennett. Round two, we will do uh, Arlequino, Ayato, Shungling, uh, and Kuki. Round three, we will do Novelette, Farina, Raiden, Shogun, and Baiju. Although, I could get rid of Raiden, but that would be against the point. Okay. Oh god, which character is protected by a shield? I don't have any shield characters on this one. Character receives healing. All party birth gave 50%. I don't, I'm going to choose randomly. Help me, chat. <laughs> I don't have any shield characters here, so... But healing is going to be a main part of this. And then this one, I will do characters energy recharge. And definitely healing. All characters' crit rate is plus 30%. <laughs> I'm going to be so happy. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> Holy shit! My Bennett's burst just did 15k. Oh my god. <laughs> so, some of their crit rate is gonna be so. F Can I see what. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> what is. <laughs> what is that? Send that to MK.
Log in, and he's gonna be like, What the fuck? <laughs> um, for context, that 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 crit ratio is, is nearly impossible without the buffs. I'm sorry, I just find it so fucking funny. That's why I was gaggling so much. Anyways, I, I swear to god if nobody clips that cackling moment, <laughs> it's gonna be so sad. Isn't that impressive? But I still am gonna cackle about this. What the fuck with Baiju? <laughs> hi, hi, hello, welcome to stream. Hi, do you know Klee's official title in Knights of Favonius? I don't remember. I didn't. That was so long ago since I started playing. Yo, what's up, Fart Face? Thank you for the biddy. I absolutely won't. The one cent will be so useful this week. Uh, no, this is an event, so you it. What it does is it it buffs all your characters, so it added fifty percent crit rate and a hundred percent crit damage or something like that. I have a C one Novalet. He's built pretty well normally, though. And with Farina, it triple buffs him normally as well. But this whole event kind of just... Yeah. I was cackling about it because I sent my friend who helps me build stuff. Ah, the ads. <laughs> nice. Let's select a stage. Unlocks in eight hours. Yeah, this is the new event. Um, and basically you get to add all these like fun little add-ons. Uh 
um, let's see. My normal Nuvolet is 32% crit rate and 293 crit damage. His weapon is crit damage. I could give him a crit rate circle it, circle it not gonna lie. I might do that. Hang on. HP, hydro damage, crit damage, HP. Can I do hydro damage? Do these have... These are, like... Can I... Mm, do I have a crit rate? I must have a crit rate. I feel like that would be better, no? Not... <sighs> I gotta talk to MK about that one. Because that looks a lot better. Even then, his crit rate's pretty low. I don't like that his crit rate is so low. What happened to his crit rate? Oh, because MK gave him this flower. Of course. He needs better crit rate. Nope, that's crap. Alright, well, he's fine now. I... I <laughs> oh my Yeah. <laughs> um, a friend of mine helps me on this account quite frequently. His name is MK Prince, and he writes music, and he's cool. Um, and I ch sent some screenshots of the characters as they were very OP at that, and it was really funny. Hang on, I'm gonna listen to this. <laughs> you just sent me the most... <laughs> Hilarious fucking voice switch. <laughs> yeah, anyways, that's all for Genshin, I think. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to Wuba. Wuba. Um, I am just gonna do, like, some daily stuff on Wuwa and then call it a night, because it has been two hours. Hey, yo! <laughs> oh, shit. Hang on. Ah, uh, yes. Hi, hi, hello. Welcome to stream. Hey, Yoss, thank you so much for the lurky.
I'm waiting for Wuwa to finish downloading. Apparently they had a patch. I should probably switch gaming category, shouldn't I? Withering Waves. Withering Waves. My beloved. Oh, I can't wait. Oh. <laughs> the game fucking restart. So, I'm still trying to get uh, Chang Li's weapon. I am broke, so I can't pay for it. Now, if somebody gave me money, I'd totally add, you know, money, but it, yeah. noises. So last, I think it was what, what, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. Also, I tried doing Chang Li's story quest, and we could do that now. But I um. Oh, thank you for the free stuff. Urbex Industry track. Great. So for context. Uh, but Jinjo, I finished exploring. It is 100%. That is a person. I will, uh, go there. Everything is 80% or above. I've found every single wind chimer, and I have found every single, um, Sonus casket as well. Um, most of my characters have been upgraded, um, so... Rover is maxed out for the level. His weapon is maxed out. His stuff could be upgraded. I'm working on it. But I've done all of his, like, talents or whatever. Same for him, uh, for, uh, for, uh, the, 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 the Gen Gen Genuine, and his weapon is level 70. Mortify, I just had that on the team because I was using it, but he's not. Uh, Chen Li, I got to level 70. Her talents need work, that's what I was working on. Her weapon is 50, though. Um, Farina was the other weapon I, f character I just finished. She's level 70, her talents are maxed out, and... Um, she has energy range on, although I need to fix her. Because, like, I know she needs to not have three stars, but that's all I have that actually fits her right now, I think. Because I, again, have so many of these and have no idea how to build characters in this game. Anyways, um, let me switch Mortify off the team. So, my goal right now is to finish Chang Li. Ch Chang Li, Chang Li. I don't know how to pronounce her name. I'm so bad at it. Hopefully, we'll make new findings. Um. I would like to get her weapon. So today, I would. I'm gonna hopefully be able to at least get the drip stuff, the metallic drip. Um. And then. After she's done, I'm gonna do her weapon. And then I'm gonna work on him and him. I'm gonna work on Couchero, Couchero, and Lin Yang. 
And then I'm going to be working on Mordefei and Baiji. Because they are very good support and healer. Um, I don't think I'll build him. I think the rest of them will just stay. <sighs> now, one minute. I must consume a potion. For the achievement. Oh, I am not in the right area. Okay. <gasps> For emergency. Oh. How many do I have right now? I have a lot, hang on. Yes, I think I'm very close to pity on this banner. What am I at? Let me look at my history. Ba -ba -ba. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. 66. Give it to me! Let's fucking go! Streamer luck! Woo! I got her weapon! Uh, hang on. Her talents require the metallic drip, so actually... That's it? That's all you gave me? Boo. Anyways, let's go do our daily, and then everything else with the guidebook, and then I'll finish up Changi's uh, story quest, and then we'll be done for the night. Tomorrow, I'll pr I won't be streaming. <gasps> As it is Tuesday. I do not stream on Tuesday or Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday, I'll probably do some more Dead by Daylight. And then this weekend, we'll see about whatever I feel like, and we'll go from there.
Where are these? Wind rider. That is that done. Cool. Let's go do some of that. Dead. Dead. Restart. Do this until I'm out of. Uh, whatever the thing is called here. It's not. It's like. It's <laughs> resin, but not resin. <laughs> Um, we also are getting a 3-5 star really soon, and I'm so hyped. It's a dude, so I'm excited. Hang on. Hello. Endure and defy. Ready for battle. You're wide open. Stop. Useless idiots. Break. Dead. All right.
And that's the last of our energy thingies. <laughs> Basically, the rest of this is just useless to me. So, I need money. Wave plate. Ah. Good thing I have. I'm gonna go get some shell credits and then um, level up Chung Li and then do her story quest. You there, looking to put on. Yeah, I'm just going to use the last of it on shell credits so that I have enough for her stuff. Which would be really, really nice. Nowhere to hide. I'm ready for battle. For now. Wait for me. Life is in everything. <laughs> None shall whisper. No hesitation. One more. Should be enough. Oh, is that enough?
podcast. All right, let me go synthesize some stuff. I do think that their system for, like, crafting needs a little bit of work, because it's just a lot of resources. Oh, she needs the rings. Right. And I have plenty of said rings. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So I still need three more of these. Oh. She's almost there. Find the place next to a ring and hanging eaves. You think I'm smart enough to figure that shit out, bro? It's this thing, no? Apparently it's not. <sighs> this it? No. This is the ring and the hanging eaves. The fuck does that mean? Girl, you are making me work for this and I'm not happy.
What am I missing? You're really stupid right now. I am stupid, I guess. Oh my... Expected discovery. every gain so I am dumb of the past. I've got to look it up. Where, what, the, what is it? Called Next to a Ring and Hanging Eaves. Find the place next to how many other people on the roof. I was... on a roof. Wait. Okay, this is where you like do the flippy thingy? Yeah, thanks.
Oh my god! A ring, she wrote. Should be this ring-shaped ancient structure, I guess. Wow! Next, hanging eaves. If we look from here... Is it that pavilion? Hmm. It does look... That must... I'll get going. They have done a lot of improvements in the last few patches. They have improved the voice acting and a lot of other bugs, and they're just really- I really like them, and I'm really hoping they succeed. Really Apologies for my delay. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Oh? And what makes you think so? Those tokens from Jin Shi. It was your idea, was it not? <laughs> so, you've guessed it. Sorry, Rover. Jinjo faced multiple threats back then, and we had to be cautious. We did not intend to inconvenience you. I regret our lack of hospitality. Still, I owe you an apology in person. This time... <laughs> I just wanted to see you the brilliant mind that always understood my unspoken words oh. i am very grateful you decided to come guys if this was female rover it'd be so lesbian romance apologies for giving you that impression rover that's not how we treat our saviors I merely have a few questions, and I was wondering if you may have the answers. Does this game of Weichi look familiar to you, Rover? Apologies. I heard about your memory loss. Please, part. There is a local tale about the secret of immortality being hidden on Mount Firmament. Have you heard about it? Yes, I have a slightly different version of this tale to share. Centuries ago, a Taoist cultivator met an enigmatic visitor on Mount Firmament. Despite their age difference, they soon became it was friends us. and often played Weichi together. One day, a woodcutter stumbled upon them, having lost his way home. Their game mesmerized him so much that he didn't notice the red tie on his basket rotting away. Panicked, he... B Despite the interruption, the visitor remained unfazed. They offered the woodcutter some tea, then guided him down the mountain, shielding him from dangerous temporal disruptions. Many years later, the Taoist cultivator became a legendary... The two resumed their unfinished game. People believe the visitor shared their secret of immortality through cleverly placed Weichi pieces. 
Yes and no. That was a bit different from what you heard before, I guess. But that's how old tales go. Slowly losing their I see truth a fucking chest in the background. <laughs> that pisses me off. Precise. The legend may be shrouded in myth, but that game of Weichi was real. Embedded within its records lies a cryptic... From what I know, only the Sentinel in its prime has the power to manipulate time through its possession of a complete temporal mandate. For us mere mortals, controlling time is indeed similar to gaining immortality. As the records state, it only reveals itself when Mount Firmament emerges. But how it ties to the temporal mandate remains an enigma, at least for now. If that is the case, we'll be able to heal the Sentinel's wounds. But our chances are looking slim. That game record could just hold, so I am presenting this as merely a personal request. I am planning to go find that record. Could you please? Of course, anything for mommy. Sorry, mommy. Sorry, <laughs> mommy. Sorry. Please. I promise it will be worth your while. Splendid. Very well. Let's. I still have some preparations to do. Please, go ahead. I'll join you later. I see the chest chat. Cherish every gain. So, the goal probably for the next few streams is to finish up Forge of Spirits, Wooming Bay, Tiger's Maw, Port City, and go from there. I want everywhere to be 100%. We're gonna do a little bit more of the quest and then I'm gonna go to bed. I know we probably won't finish it tonight, but I do have work tomorrow and it's getting late and... Rover, you're here. Well, as the Wayfinder, I do know a couple shortcuts. The notes only provided a vague idea of where the game record is. I've determined the most likely look. We'll be heading there. See if we can find anything new. After dealing with those artificers, I ruled out the other locations on my... But one can only do so much alone. This is why I need your help. Chung Li? What is it? Nothing, Rover. 
I just thought the snow is beautiful today. You seem curious about that ancient structure. It looks familiar. Like the abandoned court of Savante facility I saw, but bigger in scale. I heard it first appeared along with our sentinel. Later, the court of Savante based their Kronos orders on its design. Every winter, my hometown buzzed as people left their mark in the fresh snow, hoping for dreams to come true when it melted. Did you try it too, Chengli? <sighs> no. I only watched from afar. My forte always melted the snow faster than I liked. We can see the whole of Hongzhen from here. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I never noticed how beautiful it looked during my previous visits. It's the same place as always. I suppose it's my state of mind that has changed. I don't know. Maybe it's because your presence makes me feel at ease. Wait! I smell tacit discords in that cave. No, there's more. Tacit discords, humans, and... Smells like a whole bunch of messed up frequencies. Come on! After all we've been through, you still don't trust my sniffer? Rover? Did something happen? It's in the same direction we're going. Could it be? Signs of climbing. Get away from me! Uh, I can't hold up much longer. Please stand back. Oh, sh <laughs> thanks for your help. I, I'm okay. Wait, you, you're that hero who fought against the Stronodian. And you also resolved the time crisis here with Madam Magistrate and Lady Chung Li. It is true. I, I never thought I'd have the chance to see you in person. Without your help, I can't die here. I finally, finally found it. After all this time. Ugh. While we've solved the crisis in Mount Firmament for the time being, public access to the mountain is still restricted. Before entering the mountain, any explorer must submit a request and can only do so while accompanied by the Midnight Rangers. Sir, could you please share your reasons for traveling here alone? I... I heard a... I've only been in the mountain for half a day. I must get back. Fooling. She's still waiting for me.
It seems he is still hiding something from us. <sighs> he needs to go back to Hongjin for proper medical attention. Agreed. The appearance of tacit discords. On that note, we still don't know his identity. Then perhaps that someone is in Hongjin. Good point, Rover. Let's head back. Isn't that Wu Li? Mm, not really. The sea. Oh, he really went up. No. Sir. I'm not sure. There are. His companions? His gear, though? These are last year's designs. Perhaps Yoning's just a. We found... Isn't it? He's one of the Pioneer Association's explorers. I remember, he went on sabbatical month... Yes, Fu Ling... Oh! F Speaking of... No, I'm... Don't worry. Wait, 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 hey. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. She's pretty. Wooly? Wo I. I <coughs> Breathe. <coughs> Thank you. I'm okay now. Who are you? And. Yes, I. Wooly? Wooly! You're hurt! Great news! I found a way to sleep. You mean that legend? Fooling. No, I am. Wooly! Bro, just pass the fuck out. Thank you, Rover, Lady Chungli. You saved his life. May I please ask, what on earth happened? So, he said he only spent half a day in the mountains. Was that not the case? N no, I I've been, I I've been waiting for almost a week. It's not unusual for Wooly to be out of touch for a few days when he goes on long trips. This time, however, seemed longer than usual. Interesting. If it weren't for you two showing up, I would have asked the Midnight Rangers to help me search for him in the mountains. Wooly, he... I used to work as a landscape painter. Wooly and I met through work, and we traveled to many places together. A few months ago, I got really sick. It affected my ability to walk, which got worse over time. We couldn't go on our adventures like we used to. Wu Li stopped taking on work and traveled all over the world to find a cure for me. Despite his efforts, we couldn't find any cures. I thought it was just going to be a relaxing trip. Mount Firmaments. Yes. Wu Li told me that he's researched... It, it, it cannot fully cure... At first I thought it was just a myth. But then you... Those were my thoughts as well. Mount Firmament used to have temporal disruptions caused by its tumultuous history. However... So there are still unaddressed temporal disruptions in the... Little did he know it would only put him in more danger. <sighs> I see. So that's why there were rumors of rangers being here. Then... Rover... Lady Chungli... Please... He truly thinks it's the only way to... Uh, freezing my own time. <sighs> Dreams always come to an end. Eventually, we have to wake up and keep moving forward. <coughs> um, 
I'm okay. I'm just a little once woolly. If you have any... But if you keep it all to yourself... Yes. Rover, things are taking a turn. We should probably tell... Alright, I'm gonna cancel that ad break. Uh, I think it is a good point to stop here, especially because... It is so late. Thank you guys so much for coming. I had a blast. I'm gonna keep doing what I've been doing. And yeah, um... Let's raid somebody. Dito's glad. Dito's an absolute sweetheart. I love Dito. And we're gonna raid Dito. Um, and I will be live again on Thursday. All right, bye.